Hello everyone, myself Manjri Baride and the topic of my presentation is geotagging. Geotagging is the process of adding geographical identification metadata in the form of geospatial metadata to various media such as a geotagged photograph, video, websites, SMS or QR codes. This data usually consists of latitude and longitude coordinates and they can also sometimes include altitude, bearing, distance, accuracy data, and even place names. For in instance, someone can find images taken near a given location by entering latitude and longitude coordinates into a suitable image search engine like Google Maps. Geotagging enabled information services can, on can also potentially be used to find geolocation based news, websites, or other resources. Geotagging can also tell users the location of the content of a given picture or other media or the point of view and conversely on some media platforms show media relevant to a given location. Why is geotagging important? Geotagging provides a helpful insight into consumer activity. By using geotags to analyze where and how consumers interact with their brands, organizations can provide specialized offers and messaging. The importance of geotagging from forensic point of view is we can uh, we can get the location data of any media file such as a, such as an image a video or a qr code or a website which can help in the investigation process what are the benefits of geotagging geotagging allows users to find location specific information by entering latitude and longitude coordinates into a suitable image search engine search engine Optimizing and geotagging images will gain greater local search ranking benefits, emphasizing the relevance of a business's location, which is often referred to as a local SEO, geo-specific SEO, or a geo-targeted SEO. Here are some applications of geotagging. Geotagging has numerous applications such as organization and retrieval, which means geotagging helps users to organize and retrieve their media based on location. Uh, we can, as as we can see, uh, the Google Maps sometimes arranges our media files according to the location at which they were taken. So this is a, an example of organization and retrieval. Navigation. Geotagged information can be used for navigation purposes, helping users find specific locations or providing directions based on their current position. For example, if a person uploaded the geotagged information such as latitude and longitude, of a given location, they can get the route to reach that location. The third application is social media. Many social media platforms allow users to geotag their posts or videos, allowing others to see where the content was created. This can be useful for sharing experiences or recommendations about specific places. The next application is in the field of research and analysis. Geotech data can be used for research and analysis in various fields such as urban planning, environmental science, or social sciences. The last application is emergency responses. In emergency situations, geotagged information can be useful for locating individuals in need of assistance or for coordinating rescue efforts. For example, if an individual cannot tell the exact location of where he or she is, in an emergency situation, that person can send a geotagged image or video of that location and can get the necessary help. How geotagging works? So first of all, uh, let us see what is GPS because geotagging basically works on GPS technology. GPS stands for Global Positioning System. This technology is fundamental to geotagging. GPS relies on a network of satellites orbiting the Earth to accurately determine the position of a GPS-enabled device. Devices equipped with GC GPS receivers such as smartphones, cameras, and GPS trackers can determine their precise location by receiving signals from multiple GPS satellites. These devices can calculate their latitude, longitude, and sometimes altitude based on the signals received. Once the device determines its location, it embeds the geographical coordinates along with other re relevant metadata into the media file. This process is typically automatic for devices with geotagging capabilities, 
but it can also be done manually by users. Geotagged information is often stored in the metadata of the media file. Common metadata formats include EXIF, exchangeable Im image form file format for photos and, and for videos, it is IPTC. Once geotagged, the media file can be viewed on devices or platform on display. Like nav navigation apps can be used to get geotagged information and provide directions of the uh, necessary location. While geotagging can be useful, it also raises some privacy concerns at, as it reveals the location about an individual's whereabouts and their sensitive information. Let us now see some future trends in geotagging. Future trends in geotagging are likely to be influenced by advancements in technology, changes in user behavior, and emerging applications. Here are some potential future trends in geo geotagging. The first one is improved accuracy. With advancements in GPS technology and the integration of other positioning technolo technologies like Galileo, geotagging accuracy is expected to improve. This could lead to more precise location data associated with media. Indoor geotagging. As indoor positioning system, IPS, become more sophisticated, indoor geotagging could become more prevalent. This would enable geotagging in environments such as shopping malls, airports, and large buildings. Till now, we have been discussing about geotagging in an outdoor environment. But now, in future trends of geotagging, it is expected that the indoor geotagging, like the specific location inside a building, like a specific location inside a shopping mall or airport, can be retrieved. With increasing concerns about privacy, there could be developments in geotagging technologies that prioritize user privacy. This might include features such as selective geotagging, where users can choose to reveal location data only to trusted contacts and in uh, selected situations. Geotagging for environmental monitoring. Geotagging could also be more extensively used in environmental monitoring and conservation efforts. By geotagging images or data related to environmental observations, researchers and policymakers can better track the changes in the habitats over time. Let us now see uh, the geotagging in an Android device. To enable geotagging in your Android device, first go to your device's settings, tap on location or location services, whichever option so shows up on your screen. Make sure location services are turned on. You can choose to enable high accuracy mode for more precise location data. Launch the camera app on your Android device. In the camera settings, look for an option related to geotagging or location tagging. This option might be labeled differently depending on your device and camera app. Ensure that geotagging is enabled. If not, enable it. Take photos or record videos as you would normally do with the camera app. After capturing the media, you can view the geotag information in the metadata. This information usually includes latitude and longitude coordinates. You can view the metadata of a particular image file or video file using various forensic tools such as photo forensic. Geotagging in iOS. So let us now see how geotagging works in an iOS device. To enable geotagging in your iOS device, Firstly, go to your device's settings, tap on privacy and then location services. Make sure location services are turned on. You can choose to enable them from the camera app specifically. Launch the camera app on your iOS device. If you haven't already, grant permission for the camera app to access your device's location. In the camera app settings, there might be an option to enable location services or, ge or geotagging. Ensure that this option is turned on. Take photos or record videos. After capturing the media, you can view the geotag information in the metadata of the image. You can also do this by opening the photo or video in the photos app. I have demonstrated a practical here of geotagging uh, and I did it on a mobile phone. You can also do it on a laptop. I did it using a tool called photo forensic. So let's see how geotagging is actually done. Firstly, go on your search engine. 
it can be anything from google to grave then search for photo forensics after searching for photo forensics this is the window you should get on your uh, phone screen here are two options image url and upload file you can upload your uh, suspected image or suspected media file through any one of these options i am uploading the file through the first option image url now i have selected the file and i am uploading it after the upload after the uploading is complete you can get this screen and okay just a minute Here, uh, in the top left corner of your screen uh, you can get some options like this from these options select the metadata option after selecting the metadata option this is all the metadata of the image file that you have selected and at the last uh, portion of this metadata option uh, this is the point approximate gps location this is basically the geotagged information of the media file that you have created here it shows uh, the specific location on the map also and also it gives the approximate latitude and longitude coordinates Uh, here is a clear picture of the uh, geotagged information that I have shown earlier. These are the uh, latitude and longitude coordinates. So this is all about the geotagging. Thank you.